hello everyone welcome back in this video we will see a uh, task 2 in the lab 3 create and configure an application load balancer so in this task uh, we will create an application load balancer in the public subnet to access the application from a browser and uh, then we will navigate to the amazon ec2 console and uh, create an application load balancer to the existing amazon vpc infrastructure and then we'll add the private amazon ec2 instance as a target so a load balancer serves as the single point of contact for clients and uh, the client send the request to the load balancer and uh, the load balancer is the one that sends the uh, you know traffic to the targets which is the ec2 instances and to configure the load balancer uh, we create target groups and then register targets with your target groups okay so let me uh, log into the uh, AWS management console and uh, from here we can you know search for EC2 okay so to create the uh, target group so we can you know select the target groups Okay, under load balancing, you can see target groups and choose create target group. So under the basic configuration, we can choose the target type as the instances and uh, target group name we can uh, specify application load balancer target group and uh, next we'll choose the VPC so we'll be using the lab VPC and the remaining settings we can just uh, leave it with the default uh, values and we can click on next okay so here uh, register a uh, target page you know we'll get this page and uh, in this available instances here we can see app server 1 and app server 2 okay we can you know select um, both this uh, EC2 instance and uh, include click on include as pending below okay so under the target section we can see both of them and then create target group and you can see the success message successfully created a target group ALB target group okay so next we will create an application load balancer uh, here we will create an application load balancer for that uh, first uh, you know we need to provide the basic information for the load balancer such as the uh, you know name scheme and IP address and then we'll provide our information about the network and one or more listener so here under the uh, this ec2 uh, page let's select the load balances okay and click on create load balancer and here we see application load balancer network load balancer and gateway load balancer so in this task we will be creating application load balancer and you can just click on create 
and you will get this create application load balancer page and uh, under this uh, basic configuration we need to enter the load balancer name lab app alb and uh, leave the remaining default and next uh, network mapping we can choose the uh, vpc which is lab vpc and here you can see the ipv4 information for that uh, vpc and for mappings we can you know select the uh, checkbox for the this is us west 2a and select uh, public subnet one and next we'll choose the uh, second and here we can select the okay so here we need to select the public subnet and here public subnet two and uh, next under the security groups we can remove the default one and choose the uh, lab alb security group from this drop down and uh, next under the listeners and routing we can you know for listeners the protocol uh, we can you know select the http as it is there you can see and uh, the default action we can choose alb target group and then we can create load balancer okay so successfully created load balancer lab app alb okay you can click on view load balancer and uh, you can see that uh, it says the state provisioning and uh, it will take for a few minutes to you know get this active so we have created uh, an application load balancer alb and uh, added the ec2 instance as a target to the load balancer and uh, you know this task provides the uh, demonstration like how to register a target with the load balancer okay now we can see that uh, the state becomes active okay so that's it in this video and uh, i'll see you in the next thank you